gather here today to remember a Hoosier hero who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Paying tribute to Boone County Sheriff's Deputy Jacob Pickett. Behind the badge was a great man, a father to two beautiful little boys, a husband to his wife, Jen. Lives forever changed, and a canine officer lost without his partner. Now a family, our community, our state and far beyond mourn the terrible loss of a hero. That song playing there, How Great Thou Art. A very emotional goodbye as thousands gather at church and line the streets to show their support. Deputy Jacob Pickett is now in his final resting place in Crown Hill Cemetery. It took just over four hours for that procession to travel about 52 miles to the cemetery tonight. Our David McAnally shows us the journey they took. As the funeral procession prepared to roll on from Deputy Pickett's family church in Brownsburg, the police canines filled the silence with their own salutes. Then hundreds of police vehicles threaded through neighborhoods, the business district, then passed Brownsburg High School. Deputy Pickett graduated there and passed the elementary school where his wife Jennifer teaches. Parents joined other teachers and students to pay respects. What was really going through my mind is that the show of support today is phenomenal, but the hard part is when everybody's gone. Then the motorcade headed northwest, out into the country, the long stretch through parts of three counties in a 52-mile-long odyssey passing families who walked down their driveways to witness the passing, then finally reaching Lebanon, sailing under a garrison flag suspended from fire trucks. It kind of uh, restores a little bit of your uh, hope and humanity, seeing people come out to uh, support someone they've never met. It, it was really nice. It was, it was something I've never seen, like I've never seen before. It was, it was heartbreaking, really. Hope I never have to see it again. Lebanon also meant a ride to the patrol car memorial, the sheriff's office, and the final radio call. Deputy Jacob, Jake Pickett, Boone County K-9 Unit 626, ended his watch Friday, March 2nd, 2018, at 1941 hours. Then on to Crown Hill Cemetery. Deputy Pickett's K-9 partner, Brick, helped lead the procession just ahead of his partner's casket. We commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth and dust to dust. The journey's end, a life ended too soon. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And there was another moving moment that happened just as the funeral was getting ready to begin. It was the K-9 procession, including Deputy Pickett's partner, Brick, entered the church shortly before the funeral got underway. Brick even stopped at the flag-draped casket. And the sheriff talked about how Brick will continue to serve his late partner. His warrior spirit will live on. Behind the badge was his loyal partner, Brick, and they had an undeniable bond. Brick has been by Jake's side every day since last Friday and will continue to serve Jake by being at every hearing and trial until justice is served. His bravery will not be forgotten. We need more tried and true men like Deputy Pickett. We can't stay broken. We have to find the strength in each other and from above to begin to heal. His touch, have you felt the touch? You may have felt it physically, you may have felt it emotionally, but if you've ever been touched by Jake, what you knew was you felt loyalty. You felt humility. You knew there was selflessness. When he touched, it was about you. It wasn't about him. And take a look at this huge show of support for Deputy Pickett and his family. Hundreds of law enforcement officers from across the country traveled to central Indiana to honor the fallen deputy. And even more people tonight greeted the procession when it arrived at Crown Hill Cemetery. Our Emily Longnecker joins us live with a look at the different ways that people really came together today outside of Crown Hill to offer one final show of support. Emily. 
Well, Andrea, people showed up hours before the procession even got here to Crown Hill Cemetery. That's how important it was. They said that they pay their respects to Deputy Pickett. They came to stand outside the entrance to Crown Hill Cemetery on a bright March day, waiting for hours to catch a glimpse of a fallen hero. It's a loss. It's just a senseless loss that the first question comes to mind is why. For Leah Thornton, it was a way of letting Deputy Pickett's family know his impact has been felt far and wide. They're not just loved up there in the communities where he worked. They're also loved down here. The Sexton family came from Johnson County to pay their respects. So we decided to make this um, just to support Deputy Pickett and his family and just to let them all know that we thank them for his sacrifice and him as well. It's gut-wrenching to know that his two young ones, he's not going to be there for them. But... Robert Lamphere brought out his own son to remember Deputy Pickett's sacrifice. Well, the officer, you know, he he didn't hesitate one bit, you know, put himself in a line, you know, and this is the outcome that ended up. From across the state, members of the Indiana Patriot Guard came, placing flags along the road into the cemetery, along the path to Deputy Pickett's final resting place. It was a gesture for this fallen officer, as much as it was for his family. To let the family know that there are people who are appreciative. Uh, we appreciate his service, uh, what he's given to the community. We're out here to support the family. My heart goes out to them. And Jacob Pickett was out there doing what he loved. A job many out here said they were thankful people like Deputy Pickett were there to do. As a country that we had these people waking up every morning to try to keep us safe. So that's the reason that I want to be here and show them that I love them, that I care for them. And when Deputy Pickett's funeral procession finally arrived, those who came to see him stood in silence, American flags waving in the falling light in honor of a fallen hero. And today's show of support may be over, but police organizations all across the country are still finding a way to show this family love. They are sending in police patches from their departments to groups who are making quilts for the family. Andrea. A lot of support for that family, and it is still needed mm. after all of this is over. Thank you so much, Emily. And his family may also likely find some comfort in knowing that Deputy Pickett really gave the gift of life when he decided to be an organ donor. We spoke with the mother of fallen Metro Police Officer David Moore during our coverage, and she talked about her son's choice to be an organ donor. Organ donation brings you something beautiful out of something so tragic. Um, and it's quite wonderful to know that um, seven people have a better life. And there's no doubt that David would have gladly given his organs and I think had he known someone on the police department was going to die that particular day, that my boy would have said, you know, take me. Um, he wasn't married yet, didn't have any kids yet. And there were many, many friends that he worked with that I think David would have said, you know, God, if somebody has to go, take me. And then to give seven other people, you can tell my voice, I mean, it brings you hope. Seven people have a better life because David cared enough to give even in death. And we have been following this story all day long. And you can see our complete coverage of the way Central Indiana remembered Deputy Jacob Pickett on our website. And we've even got a blog where you can check out the more emotional moments that occurred throughout this day. And we'll also take a look at how you can still get back to the Pickett family coming up in about 10 minutes here on Channel 13.